Ilya, Yandex, uh, it's the largest uh, search engine in Russia. Um, but I, I get the sense that this is uh, a, a going to be even more international. If, if you can help it, you wanted to travel the world and people to, to be as, as, as familiar with Yandex as they are with Google, if not more so. Right. Uh, I think uh, what we learned during these 15 years of, uh, of uh, competing with the best international players on the local market and actually successfully winning the, the battle uh, was how to uh, build the technologies that are uh, on the world level and competitive. So uh, nowadays we have this um, set of products and technologies that we feel that we can spread out of our markets. And uh, it's not easy for us. We are, we are very, um, in a way, very Russian. We learn how to, to create these services inside this country and we know uh, pretty much our audience. So it's a very different story when you want to create something outside of your outside of your mindset mm -hmm. so we tr we started kind of as in a slow slowly what we've done recently we uh, a year ago we launched uh, a subset of our services in uh, in a country that is totally non-russian in a way it doesn't have any any russian uh, mentality any russian citizens so people speak russian uh, it's a country called turkey mm -hmm. and a very nice uh, fast growing uh, beautiful uh, internet uh, uh, land where you uh, can try different things that are not there because international big international guys just didn't have time to look carefully and 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 put some efforts and and create some products so the country definitely lacking some uh, important things that we have in our stack so that's why we try to see how it works and maybe if you manage to uh, gain some love in turkey we will see a little further than that and see into the Europe and see into the other countries. That's our path. So you're doing it in a very uh, deliberate way, right. you know, uh, step by step. Step by step. With, with, with right. the right ideas as opposed right. to right. Too, too, much, too, much, too much at once. Uh, in terms of the, um, the kind of technologies that, I mean, like, we've seen Google emerge, for example, and I don't really want to refer to Google too much, but they emerged as a search engine and then they became a whole lot of different things. Uh, but where a lot of this is going, we're in the world now of the cloud and uh, connected computers and our smartphones, everyone searches on their smartphones. How is Yandex preparing itself in terms of uh, desktop search, desktop uh, operating systems, uh, smartphones? How, how are you guys aligning your technologies to, um, to be omnipresent? Well, uh, I think this is a, good, a very good question because it, uh, it actually, it's, it's about the future and it's about the, how the things are changing and what, what will be open in the next uh, few years. But uh, today we know, we know for sure that most of the business, most of the money and finance in Google and in Yandex and uh, even if basically for platform makers, including like browsers, they get most of the money from the search and advertising model. Uh, and that, uh, that model proved to be working and um, every, every player in this field know how to, uh, how to build the business and how to how to make money and how to, I mean, even the set of services you mentioned, you said, you, say, you started telling that Google start, emerged as a search engine and then created other services, but basically those services do not bring money to Google. They just, uh, they just uh, important because this is how he, how the, how Google uh, wins the hearts of the audience because it's basically free products, more or less, but with the set of these free products, um, Google managed to uh, to attract people to the main service that is a search. So talking about the uh, cloud services and the services that are built on top of the platforms, they are not yet bringing that much money as search. They, let's say they, they bring one tenth of it, mm -hmm. but it's important because uh, because I think uh, uh, the behavior of, of people changes and they start to use more uh, cloud services through through applications on your on your desktop on a different desktop on a future desktop and your current mobile so that what, why it is important to be there and to present a set of services even the, even even knowing that the search is the biggest revenue machine even knowing that the search is the heart of of your set of services and uh, everything you still want to uh, to give users uh, those important components so what uh, our strategy here is uh, to uh, to actually, I mean, as 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 before, uh, is to get uh, to, to create the best set of products. 
So currently we have a very, very nice set of products in mapping, including traffic applications, uh, taxi application, some other applications in Russia that are definitely number one in our segment. So we want uh, believe in that. We want to, to know that. We want to see that. Uh, we want how to say. We want to uh, create the applications that will be that will, that will uh, attract audience by itself. And of course, we want to have some kind of a platform like Android. But uh, we hope that Android is open enough for us to fit in nicely. So that's uh, this is our strategy to to stay with Android and to create the best set of services. How much effort do you guys put into R and D in terms of uh, share of revenue? Uh, like, uh, how, how, how how much commitment are you putting into R and D research and development? Well, uh, I think we do not split our development into R and D and 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 purely like uh, development because in our case uh, we are trying to uh, almost every service is innovative in a way. Almost everything that we've done is. Is a, is a life stuff, a life thing. You, it's a kind of web to zero development. It's always a constant beta. We have the service, we put it into the production, we see how it works and we change it to suit better the audience and, uh, and experiment every, every single day. We run, uh, let's say, hundreds of experiments in our search daily. We run lots of experiments in every, in every, in every other service. That's, uh, it's kind of a live machine. We learn how to uh, split the audience and see how uh, the audience react to different new stuff. So research and development in our case is pretty much the same. All the all the developers are pretty much researchers. So this is just one one thing. We do not kind of make the budget into two stuff. But uh, yes, we have let's say uh, 1,500 uh, engineers, uh, developers, and researchers who create the search and other services. We we create quite a big company.